a scorching hot desert country of black and white morals, the only country that still actively practices slavery. In fact, 2% of its population is enslaved. In this country, young girls are force fed, for they believe that the more fat a woman is, the more beautiful she is. Welcome to Mauritania. Thank you so much for joining me. As usual, like this video and please consider subscribing. Here are some facts about Mauritania. Let's start with the basics. Mauritania, officially the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, is a sovereign country in Northwest Africa. It is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west, Western Sahara to the north and northwest, Algeria to the northeast, Mali to the east and southeast, and Senegal to the southwest. By land area, Mauritania is the 11th largest country in Africa and the 28th largest in the world. 90% of its territory is situated in the Sahara. Most of its population of approximately 4.3 million lives in the temperate south of the country with roughly one third concentrated in the capital and the largest city, Nouakchott, located on the Atlantic coast. Mauritania is one of the least densely populated countries in the world. It is a desert country, which means it is constantly hot, dry and dusty. The Islamic Republic of Mauritania is a deeply patriarchal society in which women and girls are taught that they are inferior to men and must please men in order to have a fulfilling life. One manifestation of this culture is the standard of beauty for women which emphasizes obesity as a sign of wealth, status and desirability. The importance of achieving this beauty standard has resulted in the practice of le bleu or the force feeding of girls as young as five until they become obese. Young Mauritanian girls are traditionally force-fed and fattened for the sake of beauty and marriage. This is because Mauritanian tradition holds that among women, rolling layers of fat are the heights of beauty. This preference originated centuries ago among the Moors, who are nomadic Muslims of Arabic and Berber stock who make up two-thirds of Mauritania's 4.3 million people. To the ancient Moors, a fat wife, much like fat livestock, was a sign of a man's wealth, proof that he had enough riches to feed her generously while others perished in the drought-prone terrain. Heavier girls and women are viewed as beautiful, wealthy and socially accepted, while their slimmer counterparts are considered inferior and bring shame on their families in Mauritanian society. The practice of Le Bleu in Mauritania has serious health effects and women are fighting against it. Number 3. Despite its prevailing Arab identity, Mauritanian society is multi-ethnic and a majority black country. The Bidan, or the so-called White Moors, make up 30% of the population, while the Haratin, or the so-called Black Moors, comprise 40%. Both groups reflect a fusion of Arab, Berber, ethnicity, language and culture. The remaining 30% of the population comprises various sub-Saharan ethnic groups. The Berbers themselves, as with all Sahelians, are more mixed than what would be considered normal in Arab regions of the world. Many of the so-called white Berbers of Mauritania can pass as brown or black with only a small portion looking white, like say, the Algerians. Number 4. Mauritania takes its name from the ancient Berber kingdom that flourished beginning in the 3rd century BC and later became the Roman province of Mauritania which flourished into the 7th century AD. The name Mauritania comes from the ancient kingdom of Mauritania, itself derived from the Maori meaning Moors. Number 5. Many of the Arab tribes have claimed Yemeni descent. A 2000 DNA study of the Yemeni people did suggest some ancient connection might exist between the peoples. Number 6. Arabic is the official and national language of Mauritania. The local spoken variety, known as Hassaniya, contains many Berber words and significantly differs from the modern, standard Arabic that is used for official communication. 
تخف حدتك دوك الردات اللي طالعات اللي مثلا الشامرات الفوق معنا الله مو كيف هنا عندك عن فاوت ساندويج يوميا الفين وقيا الله 15 مية تدخل تفرق حالا قاعد دم كله يقضان حاسة نمبر 7 The obesity rate among Mauritanian women is high due to the traditional standards of beauty in some regions by which obese women are considered beautiful while thin women are considered sickly. Number 8. Slavery still persists in Mauritania despite it being outlawed. It is the result of historical caste system resulting in descent-based slavery. Mauritania officially abolished slavery in 1981, but the practice was not criminalized until 2007. In 2012, it was estimated that 10 to 20 percent of the population in Mauritania live in slavery. Those enslaved are darker-skinned Haratin, with their owners being lighter-skinned Moors. No cases have been successfully prosecuted under the anti-slavery law, despite the fact that de facto slavery still exists in Mauritania. Number 9. Despite being rich in natural resources, Mauritania has a low GDP. A majority of the population still depends on agriculture and livestock for a livelihood, even though most of the nomads and many subsistent farmers were forced into the cities by recurrent droughts in the 70s and the 80s. Mauritania has extensive deposits of iron ore, which account for almost 50% of total exports. Gold and copper mining companies are opening mines in the interior, such as the Firawa mine. Oil was discovered in Mauritania in 2001 in the offshore Tinguiti field. Although potentially significant for the Mauritanian economy, its overall influence is difficult to predict. In 2019, one of the world's largest discoveries of natural gas was also found in Mauritanian offshore waters with a potential of 50 trillion cubic feet of gas, equivalent to around 8.9 billion barrels of oil. Mauritania has been described as a desperately poor desert nation which straddles the Arab and the African worlds and is Africa's newest, if small-scale oil producer. Number 10. Mauritania may be a dry country of endless desert terrain, but it is definitely worth visiting. It's got some cool places to see. Tingueti is one of the most popular places in the country. Known for its historic desert city architecture, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mauritania is home to the Ritat structure, sometimes referred to as the Eye of the Sahara or the Eye of Africa. The largest ship graveyard in the world is located in Mauritania, near the city of Nuadibu, where hundreds of wrecks have been grounded in shallow water where they are scavenged or left to decay. Mauritania has one of the longest trains in the world. The iron ore train, or desert train, is 2.3 kilometers long. With that, we come to the end of yet another Afro Artista film. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please stick around. The next video is just around the corner. Bye! <laughs> ساعت لا شفته متحني وإذا ما شفته يا سبحان ساعة متحني حني يا وني يا وني